Hi traders, Andrew Mitchum here, the Forex Trading Coach. Welcome along. Today's Friday, the 15th of February 2013. Well, it's been another really good week. Had some amazing feedback from the information we talked about on last week's uh, presentation. And I talked about the importance of backups. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go and watch last week's. Could save you a lot of headaches. Um, had also some amazing feedback about my uh, webinars that I hold for newer traders every week. Uh, so I'm holding two every week. Make sure you jump on those if you've not been on there. Um, got some great feedback, people are learning some really good information, helping them along with their trading. And also just to let you know, at the end of the presentation, I'm offering a really good uh, incentive. And the incentive is uh, you can actually get a one hour um, private webinar with myself uh, if you have to sign up to my course on that um, so it's really worth attending um, like no one else gets that it's just uh, a few people who sign up after those sessions can get a whole hour uh, talking through your trading uh, with myself so make sure you jump onto those webinars if you've not already done so other thing I have to tell you I've been asked by Forex Peace Army uh, to write for them now I Respect Forex Peace Army, I think it's the most important review site out there. Um, and it has been for quite a number of years. Um, and, and so they catch out in a huge number of people, like uh, catch them doing some really sort of dodgy things within this industry. And so I really respect them for that. And they've asked me, they've approached me and said, Look, Andrew, would you write for us so our clients can get some benefit from your trading knowledge? And I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll help you out. So what I'm doing starting from this coming Monday is I'm going to be adding the strengths and weaknesses that I see each day uh, on various pairs and writing that information down on uh, their site uh, for people to follow along. Um, I put that information on my site for my clients plus a lot more, but I'm just going to be saying that, um, some of the currency pairs that I see as being particularly strong or being particularly weak for the upcoming day. So what that allows people to do is to trade their own system, whatever it might be, but knowing that you're trading with the likely direction for that upcoming 24 hours. So look out for that and I'll fill you in with more details this time next week after I've been writing for the first week. Um, on the trades themselves this week, uh, the, the British pound has just uh, crashed yet again and the pound against the New Zealand dollar and the Australian dollar um, have just fallen away and the pound kiwi and also the euro kiwi are now at historical lows and so um, there just doesn't seem any end in sight for those two in fact today being friday um, i've shorted the euro on uh, several other against several other pairs i can see that the euro is falling back um, and the pound of course is falling back. The Kiwi is looking the strongest uh, at the moment, the strongest currency and it's just reached the 85 and just pushed through the 85 cents against the US right now as I'm recording this. So that could well push up a touch further. Um, and also away from the currencies, gold and silver have fallen and they come down quite a lot. Gold's now at a level that's only been reached once so far this year, and that was the first couple of days in January. So it's come down to that support level. If it continues to fall, then of course it could break through that support level uh, later today and into next week. Or the other scenario is if we see a reversal candle pattern there, we could get a lovely double bounce off that strong support from the early part of January, could get another bounce again now, and we could see the um, upward movement in silver and gold continue. Uh, but of course, that all remains to be seen with candle patterns, so that's why I'm a technical trader. I can see what I think is likely to happen, but I still need the backup from the charts and the actual price itself to determine whether I'm going to place my money on it as a, as a new trade. So that's all for now. I look forward to updating you uh, this time next week with some more information about how I'm progressing with the uh, writing for Forex Peace Army. I just wanted to share that with you now nice and early so you've got the opportunity to jump across to that site and, and have a look. So have a, a great Friday, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you this time next week.